What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So today we're going to talk about something because it has to be talked about because if I don't put this out, it doesn't get out because people are not going to do it because they just, they're not going to step up. Like I feel like bros are not going to step up to fucking science geeks and tell them to go shit in their hat. They're not going to put them on the spot because most bros just don't care. Bros go about their, 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 their way and they do their thing and they try to get better. They don't care what the science people are saying. They don't care what the science people are fucking doing. But the science people keep a really close eye on the bros because they like to make fun of them. They like to talk down on them. They like to make themselves feel better by talking down about other people. They like to feel above other people. Now, I'm sorry, but that's not fucking true. I don't give a fuck what PhD or paper you have behind your fucking name. Go fuck yourself. You are not better than anyone and you just get that shit right out of your fucking head. But if you feel like that, number one, you're already losing life because you think you're fucking better than someone. That's the fucking number one way to lose. Anyways, I'm not saying trying to be the best you can, but looking down at other people is the number one way to lose in life. Anyways, so collagen. Let's talk about collagen. GFD Labs, my company, was the first ever to put collagen in an essential amino acid formula. And I think a lot of people thought I was fucking crazy at first, but lo and behold, I mean, years ago, I started taking collagen. I started speaking out about it. Here we are in 2019, and many major companies are adding collagen to their protein powders now, just like I predicted. Bodybuilding.com is out there touting the, um, the benefits from hair, skin, nails, ligaments, recovery, muscle recovery, muscle building. They're even touting that on Bodybuilding.com. Other companies are starting to add it here and there to places. They get it. Like The companies are getting it because the actual information is sound. Now, the problem that I have is the fucking science geek wingnut motherfuckers that pop up and they try to make everything so fucking simple. Listen, if it was so fucking simple. Why the fuck do so many people have a hard time with everything that's involved in the fitness? Whether it's building muscle, fucking losing fat, they have a hard time with it. They can't figure out what the fuck's going on. If it was so simple, like you people said, you need a little bit of protein, you train a little bit and you would get results. But that's not how it works. As a matter of fact, many of the science geeks would have you steer away from the bros and go towards them and you get fucking worse results. Now, bear with me. Collagen itself is made up, you know, I'm going to read this right off the things because it makes it it's just so much easier so that there's no fucking wing nut out there that can fucking complain about it. So collagen is the most abundant protein in the body. It's the second most abundant nutrient after water. Okay. Water is the most abundant nutrient we have. Collagen, the second most abundant nutrient in our entire body. Now, um, helps give structure to our hair, skin, nails, bones, ligaments, tendons, muscles, um, Thanks to collagen, we're barely able to move, bend, stretch. Collagen also behind helping the hair shine, skin glow, nails stay strong, etc. As we stress and put more stress on our body, more stress on our body, the body blood, the greater the impact of collagen production. Um, collagen in a balanced diet can help our bodies regenerate what's been lost or broken down. Um, collagen protein is different than whey and casein because of the high levels of amino acids. Now, just bear with me. Muscular growth, joint health. An overall glowing appearance can be partially attributed to the amino acid blend in collagen that can't be found anywhere else. Now, the wing nuts like to say, well, Jerry, it's just going to be broken down to amino acids. You guys, what the fuck? That's the dumbest statement I've ever heard. Now, bear with me. So I'm going to go right through all these numbers, too, to make sure you guys have all the proper information. Um, so collagen is the most important building block for the skin. It makes up 30% of the protein in our body. 30% of the protein in the entire body. 70% of the protein in our skin. Helps skin stay toned, right? So this is about skin general right here. But ligaments and tendons, other type of connected tissue um, that attach two bones and muscles, holding them together. These tissues, the bones, ligaments, tendons, and the skeletal muscles are made up of proteins to a large extent. This is protein is collagen, okay? Whether it's the bones, the muscles, everything. Collagen. Now, pay attention. I'm going to tell you why collagen specifically is so important in just, just amino acids. It's not just amino acids, right? We ran out of room over here in this cart. So the... Amino acids that make up collagen, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, and arginine. Now, here's the problem that I have. Those amino acids together create something called collagen, okay? Those amino acids combined together in certain amounts, okay, create collagen, okay? That's what it creates. That's what it's called. So collagen is broken down into those, but those things, when they're put together, create collagen, okay? Amino acids put together, different amino acids put together in a different way, different amounts create chicken. Other amino acids combined in different amounts combine beef. Other amino acids combined in different ratios and amounts, tuna. Every single source of food is comprised of amino acids, but in different amounts that create these foods. Now, here's the problem. Our body needs to maintain that collagen in it, those certain blends of amino acids in certain amounts, right? So you could technically, I guess, go buy each amino acid, try to figure out how much to take up each one in just each amino acid and do that every day for the rest of your fucking life. 
that would technically replace the amino acids that collagen gives you. Or you could take a fucking scoop of collagen. And that collagen with those amino acids, guess what? You're still taking your other essential amino acids. You're still taking your non-essential. You're still taking your branch chains. By adding the collagen in, it gives you extra amino acids, specific amino acids that create collagen that your body needs to rebuild the process of tendons, ligaments, and muscle. Those fucking aminos and those amounts specifically create a fucking entity. The entity is collagen. So for anyone to say, well, they're just broken down into amino acids, no fucking shit. But where do you think those amino acids go? If you have a diet that's completely void in collagen and you need those amino acids to fucking build your tendons, your ligaments, repair everything, fucking build muscle, and you're not taking a collagen supplement, guess what? You're deficient in those amino acids because the amino acids you take in from the other foods and your supplements go to the other processes that are fucking happening. By adding collagen in, it now has an overabundance of those amino acids that can be used exactly what they're meant for to make more collagen in the fucking tissues. Think about it like this. If you have, if you're building a house, right? And you have like door frames, right? And you have several door frames, right? And you have sets of stairs, right? Well, what if you're missing the sets of stairs, but you still have the door frames? We can walk through it, but you can't actually get into the house, right? Because you need the set of stairs. Well, those door frames, check in. The other door frame, um, essential amino acids, but there's no stairs. Why? Because you're not ta you don't have the materials to build the stairs. Even though it's still wood, like collagen and amino acids, you're building something else, another part of the house. So you literally need to have, okay, I need that type of wood because that cedar over there, well, these stairs, these are gonna be pine. Well, pine is still wood, right? But it's a different type of wood. You build those stairs with that pine wood. Those stairs now have been created out of something that you added to the house that wasn't already there. Like it fucking blows my fucking mind that these wingnut people would actually have you believe that it doesn't matter if you don't take in the collagen when it's the most abundant nutrient on our body and we are absolutely depleted of it because we don't have a food source besides collagen that gives us enough of those amino acids that our body needs on top of what it already needs for the regular repairs to repair our tendons and ligaments. And I'm like, you guys can't be fucking serious. Like this can't be reality. You guys can't be just so mad at bros that you'll actually take human biology and biochemistry and fuck it all up like an asshole to try to make them look bad. Like all it takes is one second to go collagen. It's, it's high in these four amino acids. Those amino acids are not in the abundance that we need in the other foods. And if we tried to get them by combining other foods, we could have abundance of other amino acids, not just them. So these amino acids, by taking them in, have a specific job in our body that it's looking for them anyways and needs them. Instead of saying that, you say it's all broken down to amino acids. Okay, oh, well, okay, well, fucking, how about if you tell me how to get those amino acids in my body? You have to buy each fucking amino acid individually and make sure that you're fucking taking them in. You gotta make sure they're digestible, first of all. They're not some kind of shit source that you're taking in. But you should have to take individual aminos, like these fucking capsules, and swallow these fucking capsules to try to get that done and do that every single fucking day of your life because your body needs that nutrients, those nutrients coming in, those amino acids in abundance and those amounts coming in to repair your joints and fucking ligaments and tendons and build muscle. If you don't have those aminos and those ratios, meaning those levels that are in collagen, you're short changing yourself of muscle building as well as tendon and ligament health, joints, hair, skin, nails, all of it. Like you're, you're literally robbing yourself of something that is yours for the taking that you need because you don't understand that it's not just amino acids. It's certain amino acids in certain combinations in certain quantities that your body doesn't normally get through eating regular fucking foods. That's the whole thing. Like we try to eat various foods to get a combination of amino acids. So realistically, beef, chicken, turkey, tuna, egg whites, whey protein, uh, vegan protein, whatever, you try to eat all those things because each one has a different amino acid profile. Right? And those amino acid profile, what happens is when it goes to the amino acid pool, they get mixed up and they get used as needed. However, collagen has very specific amino acids that are needed in a specific combination in high amount that your body needs and they're ready to use when you take it. Therefore, it works way better than if you tried to piece this shit together any other way. Why the fuck would these science geeks try to make things harder? They try to break it down and make it seem like it's so simple. It's just amino acids. Yeah, motherfucker, tell me how to get those other amino acids besides collagen. Tell me how to, tell me an easier way because you're saying, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But then you're not telling anybody how it really works. This is how it really works. If you walk into the situation, you don't take collagen, now you're combining all these other fucking foods to try to get the right amounts. And guess what? You're still not hitting the levels then you would get in that collagen because that collagen has the levels that your body naturally needs already in it, in one fucking scoop. 
you got to be fucking kidding me that these people are so emotionally invested in being a science geek. They hate bros so much. Why the fuck do you hate bros so much? Why do you think that bros are fucking the evil fucking empire that's out there trying to fuck over bodybuilding? Bros just want to get swole. Bros just want to get shedded. They don't get shred shredded, not shedded. They just want to get shredded. They don't give a fuck about other shit like that. They're not trying to hurt, any hurt anybody or harm anybody. They're trying to get from one place to the next as fast as they can and not being held back by anything fucking in between. But no, sure enough, sure enough, a bro says, hey, collagen, because I read about it and it says that we don't have a food source because these are scientists saying that. And the scientists say we don't have a food source, therefore we should supplement it unless we want to eat gelatin, which you can eat gelatin all day long if you want, or some other, so like bone broth or something like that, or bone marrow. Unless we have that in our diet, our body is deficient in it. It doesn't matter how much fucking chicken we eat. It doesn't matter how much fucking beef we eat. It doesn't matter fucking how many essential amino acids we take. It's not in the high enough amounts that our body can use readily because it's using those other things for things already. By taking the collagen, it already fucking inserts them when the body needs them on top of. It's like fucking having a layer cake. That layer on top is the collagen and you fucking need it. Man, it fucking kills me that people would put out bad information specifically just because they don't like bros or they feel like maybe bros get better attention or they feel like, well, I spent all this money and I should fucking get the attention because I have a fucking degree or... I don't know what the problem is, but the bottom line is, guys, there's so much misinformation out there. And you know what? If you took half hour, 45 minutes and really researched it, you'd be able to find out these things that I talk about. And you'd be like, what the fuck? You'd be able to challenge the fucking wing nuts. One of these wing nuts tells you the collagen is just protein. It's just broken out of amino acids. You say, okay, well, well, how would I eat chicken and, and fish and stuff to get enough amino acids? And you ask them, hey, are these four amino acids? How much am I getting in these? And how do I increase those? without increasing the other amino acids because I'm getting plenty of protein already through the day. So how do I just increase those without increasing all the other amino acids? They're going to be like, oh, uh, you got to take them separately. Just go to the store and buy those amino acids. So you buy four different amino acids, four different fucking bottles, which are going to cost you more than the collagen to begin with. Then you have to figure out, okay, out of this amount of collagen, 10 grams, 20 grams, whatever the case may be, how much is glycine? How much is this one? How much is arginine? You have to figure out how much is in each one in collagen naturally. Then you can take those pills. What? You just made it 10 times harder by telling those people that collagen is just broken down into fucking amino acids rather than telling them, you know what? It helps. Yeah, it's amino acids that are in abundance that your body can use. Go ahead and take it. But instead, you want to fuck people over. Like the wing nuts are not helping people anymore. They're holding people back now. Science Geek wing nuts are actually holding people back by trying to dumb things down. They're not giving them fucking answers in the long run that I'm giving you right here today that no one else is talking about. It just fucking sickens me, guys, because everybody's out there for themselves. They don't give a fuck. The problem is these fucking science geeks, some of them don't know, but some of them do know. And it kills them like a motherfucker that they didn't decide to put collagen in their fucking supplement first. Because now these companies are like, fuck, you know what? Okay, collagen, actually, it's needed. Holy shit. It's like going without water. It's like saying, well, you know, you don't really need water. It's just wet. You can get fucking water from eating your foods. Just eat foods because it has water in it. What the motherfucker? You've got to drink water, too. Like some of the things they say doesn't make any fucking sense. And I'm just like, I'm just tired of it, guys. So the truth is collagen contains amino acids. But those amino acids in abundance are not found in those other foods. It's a, a full array of other amino acids. So in order to crank those up, you have to take them separately, which is why you add collagen to the other essential amino acids. Now you have all the essential amino acids for muscle building. You have the collagen, which also, by the way, helps you build muscle because of the amounts of those amino acids in there, as well as takes care of your tendons, ligaments, hair, skin, and nails. What the fuck? That's a no brainer. But no, no, guys, I'm just a fucking dumb bro. Even though all the fucking information is online that tells you those wing nuts are full of shit. What they're saying is technically true that it's a protein or broken down amino acids, but they don't tell you what happens afterwards, why those amino acids are important, why the amounts are important, and how they're used by the body, nor do they tell you how to take other amino acids to get the right amounts to get your tendons and ligaments to, to actually heal. If you listen to them, you'll be eating more of the other shit. And guess what? Your tens and ligaments are not going to fucking heal any faster. Your fucking muscle is not going to grow any faster. You take an overabundance of amino acids and eventually what's going to happen is whatever's going to be used is going to the amino acid pool. And some of them are going to be excreted. They're going to be used up for what they're being used up for. But you don't need all those other amino acids. You need the certain ones that are in collagen to fix your fucking joints. It's unbelievable how fucking asshole-ish, assholian, I don't know, we'll make up some words right now because fucking, it's, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> And people call me dumb. They call me stupid. They call me the bro. They call me the asshole. You know what? I'm not trying to fuck people over. I'm trying to help people. I want myself and my clients and my friends and my followers and everybody else to get as good results as they possibly can. I don't want to be the one that's sitting back there telling everybody everything's so easy. 
and they're struggling. I want the struggle to fucking stop for everybody. These fucking wingnut science people struggle constantly all the fucking time. The bros are growing out of fucking control. What the fuck is going on? It doesn't make any sense, guys. So in closing, hopefully you guys understand that collagen as a food source is important. Yes, it's broken down to amino acids, but it's not that simple. That's not where it ends. A lot of stuff after that continues the story, which you've got now that those fucking science wingnuts, geek, science geek wingnuts, would not fucking tell you. Some don't know, some do. Some are just assholes. BioStrangling at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. BioStrangling.com. The blog. It's the collagen is important bicep, and we are out. Thank <laughs> you.